All right, so welcome to the uh, post-match iTech interview um, with myself, Rodri, and I'm lucky to be joined with, uh, what, what's your official title? Assistant coach, assist Gav and Paige with anything that needs to be done, really. So, so this is Chris Morgan, assistant coach. Um, great result, five points in the bag. Are you happy with that performance? Uh, I, I, we're happy with the result, definitely. It was uh, fantastic to get the five points taken before half time. Um, uh, and I think it sort of game just fizzled away a little bit in that second half and marred with a lot of error, um, particularly by us in attack. And the penalty count kind of got away as well in that second half and it just sort of sort of ended the game in a bit of a damp squiff, really. Uncharacteristic um, play from the Pirates in that kind of first 10 minutes. You try to play a lot of rugby and you're kind of between your 10 metre lines. Uh, was there something said that because there was a dramatic change um, towards the end of the first half as you started to eat some more points on the board? Yeah, I think we probably just got a little bit carried away at the start of the game and we um, felt that momentum and tried to spread the ball across the field possibly before we had the um, opportunity to get the go forward and we just spoke a little bit about being a bit more pragmatic um, and playing the right areas of the park because we felt we could squeeze them in that first half and I, I think it showed through the, um, through the set piece. Bedford, we, we talk about Bedford, they're a very uh, prolific attacking side, but you've got to be happy with limiting them just to one score and keeping that score down because it wasn't for a lack of trying for, on their behalf, they certainly tried throwing that ball around. Yeah, I think it's really dangerous and we got that early warning when um, Rich Lane got that interception um, through, us, through us probably overplaying in that middle area of the park and then that start of that second half again, you know, they weren't going to go away and they came out trying to play a lot of rugby and we we're fortunate to, to hold that out and get back up the other end and score a try and as, as we know Bedford, they never, never give up. No, I mean, set piece is becoming a good weapon for you. Uh, for you. Obviously, as a forward yourself, you second row, weren't you? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, it's becoming a good weapon uh, for the Pirates, and it was demonstrated again with a couple of scrum penalties and some real dominance um, towards the latter stages of the game. Yeah, I think I think um, Pave's been putting a lot of work in with that front row, and it shows now that they've been together for a couple of seasons and they're eking out those scrum penalties and getting some good dominance in there, and that is laying a good platform for us to get into the opposition 22 um, and, and a chance to play more. So. I think it's sort of it's a it's a bit of a spiral there. As we get a better set piece, we'll get more opportunities to attack in the final third of the pitch. Uh, and always nice to to get some driving balls in there. Good uh, good contest in the line out between uh, is it Danny Cutmore and Will Carrick Smith. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, he was down here alone, wasn't he, for a little bit, Carrick Smith? Yeah, Will was with us from Exeter at the time. You know, top lad, um, really nice guy, and a, a good exponent in that line out as well. Two long dogs going at it. Rod, you'd have enjoyed the contest there. Yeah, good bit of scaffolding going up. up to the sky, yeah. Um, but no, re really good contest in that set piece. It was probably just unfortunate there was as many set pieces as there were just for all the handling errors and penalties in the game. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, we were saying in the commentary box with Murray that um, Pirates are showing a real side of maturity. Uh, it, it seems as almost as if they've turned a slight corner from last season and built upon it. Uh, is that something that you guys have um, discussed or highlighted or happy with? I think we're, we're happy with the results, definitely. And I think a lot of that comes down to the amount of cohesion the group's got because this is a group that's been together now for a couple of seasons, two, two years, some three, four longer than that. Um, and I think that togetherness comes from that and that maturity comes from how long the group's together and we can see in how they play and how they communicate with each other, maybe that they're able to... Um, get that sort of control back into that game when at times they were overplaying or things were going a little bit wrong. I mean, it, it's an ability in itself. It's all well and good winning beautiful games of rugby and everything goes right, but to win a game with a bonus point and not necessarily be enthusiastic about the performance, I mean, that's, a, that's actually quite a good position to be in, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, don't, don't get wrong, really enthusiastic with one because I've been on the other end of that um, a fair few times ourselves, but, um, it, it, you know, it, I think it's a standard that the guys have set for themselves, particularly after the start of the season against Saracens and, and other things that, that we expect more of the group and they expect more of themselves. And I think that showed with how the lads were after the game that they were, it was a bit, uh, we're, hap we're happy to win, but uh, we can play a lot better than that and, we, and we've got more in us. So um, I, I think, you know, name of the game is get home, get recovered up and, and get ready to go this week as a, a different prospect and a, and a tough one as well away at Donny. Yeah, so Donny away, uh, they're three from three as well and they've had some good uh, good wins to start with. What, what is the focus shift now, obviously, leading into this uh, this coming week training? It will, it'll, be, it'll be difficult for us to get a lot of training in going from Sunday to Saturday. So, you know, the guys will get a day off tomorrow, tomorrow to recover and then we're travelling again on Friday. So we'll be lucky to get a day's training in really um, with them once they're, once they're fit and running. So it will just be about getting bodies back on the park, getting ready to go, being clear in what we're doing, um, trying to put in a performance we're really happy with and get the result. Perfect. Well, mate, thank you for your time. Thanks. I'll let you go back to the team. Um, thank you for joining us for the uh, post-match iTech interview. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon.